JCOS is a tagger, a program that can automatically find the correct metadata and save it in your music files. After startup it is fast, very fast, in looking up metadata and is very handy for uniform artist naming and other spreadsheet-like operations. And it runs on Windows, macOS and Linux. I mentioned JCOS already earlier in my video Music Metadata Management and said that I especially like the spreadsheet-like layout. But it is also very quick in retrieving the right metadata, supporting the over 100 metadata fields. If you want, you can see them all and edit them manually. Having it look up metadata from Music Brains and Discogs is of course easier, especially if you have no clue what the files contain like I had recently. In the Finder window on the right you see the folder One Unknown, which holds music I ripped ages ago and never finished. I just dragged the folder on JCOS. Note the empty fields in the lower part of the screen. Now I press Command 1, Control 1 on a Windows machine, and before you know it all metadata fields are filled, provided there is an entry of that album available and all fields in that entry contain data which is often but not always the case. Now the metadata is found I just press Command Option W, which probably is Control Alt W on Windows, confirm the files need to be saved and you're done. Let's load it back in again. Now watch at the lower end of the screen and you'll see that all reference to the Music Brains database are filled. Next to using the tube databases, JCOS also uses AcoustID that uses fingerprints of music. Most of these fingerprints are linked to the Music Brains database. Many tagging programs work like this, they say, but unlike some other programs, in JCOS you only have to press one button on the screen or type command 1 to have it fingerprinted, checked against the databases and have the fields filled out. If there are several versions of an album, like a Japanese version with a bonus track, a remastered version and so on, it automatically chooses the correct version, at least for as far as I can see. I had about 100 albums I had to tag and copy to the correct folder in my collection. I wanted to monitor the process and thus not use Song Kong this time. Only 5 albums were not found and with 5 other albums I needed to make manual adjustments like adding or correcting track numbers or genres. When testing the name Unity Core Music Ripper and Server, I tested Ripping to Wave. If you want that, the name stores the metadata not in the audio files, but in a separate file called meta.name, and high-res cover art in coverfront.png. I read some albums like Camina's On a Quiet Street, Camina Live in Ireland, and we'll check how complete the metadata is. I started autocorrect using Command 1 and right away all metadata appears. Option Command W writes the new data and clears JCOS. But it appears that there is no cover art, so let's cancel the writing and drag the cover art from the map on the right to one of the cover art fields in JCOS. Now I copy the cover art from that field to those of the other tracks. And write and close the files. To prove the speed is consistent over albums, let's do Celine Dion. Drag it in. Type command 1 and save and close again. That easy, that fast. But it can be done even faster. I'll show you speed with five Charlie Parker albums. I draw the complete Charlie Parker folder into Jacobs. Hit autocorrect and see the fields being filled except for a number of genre fields.
So I copied one field field to all the genre fields. Just write and clear and you are set. I don't write the files so I can use them again for the next review. Let's do one more. Dance music this time. Notice that some fields are already filled out but the tracks and disc information is empty. Command 1 and we are done. Again you would normally write the updated files but I won't here for keeping the files for future tests. Now let's do a nasty one, a sampler. There always is a chance that the individual tracks are referenced to the original album they came off. The cause is of course primarily due to the databases. But I also noticed that JCAS must have seen a way to perform better than the average, since I only had one compilation go wrong up till now. Notice that no single field holds information. Again, Autocorrect finds the correct album, but genre, album art and album artist are blank. I fill out the album artist with various artists, since it is a compilation of work by various artists. Copy the cover art to the appropriate column and fill genre with jazz. Let's do two albums more and while you watch this let me tell you that the screen videos are played back in real time. Usually I speed up the screen videos to compensate for my slow mouse and keyboard input but here it's all real time and without editing while using autocorrect. All popular audio formats are supported. MP4, M4A, M4P, MP3, WMA, FLAC, AIFF, WAV, DSF and ARC. And, as said, there are versions for Windows, Mac OS and Linux since it's Java based. You can even switch from one OS to the other using the same license file and you are allowed installation on three computers. Prices start at 37 US dollars and that includes one year free updates. After that JCOS still can be used as is and you still have support but you are no longer eligible for updates. Extending your updates costs 13 US dollars per year. JCOS features quite a bit more than I can show you in this video, like file name to tag copying, filtering, capitalization and so on. If this video managed to let you understand the speed, ease of use and accuracy of JCOS, it serves its purpose. Over the years I have tried quite a lot of taggers and no one is perfect, believe me. That's why I still use Songkong, Yade and JCOS. Songkong is the sister app for processing large batches. Again see my music media management video. JCOS is my choice for if I want to do tagging manually meaning that I want to watch what's happening, but want it to be fast and good. Let me remind you that the metadata databases are not perfect and the flaws we have seen are due to those imperfections and not due to taggers. So what do I think of JCOS? Well, I have bought three years of updates, need I say more? That's it for this week. There will be another video next Friday, as always at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you'll be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that supports this channel financially, it keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you on the next show or on thehbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.